So, 110 NW openings to do. 111 with the Chainsaw Charlie I bought the other day. That means if I did one a month, it would take me just over nine years to do them all. If I did one a week, it would take just over two years. And if I stuck to the channel average, which is about nine a year, it would take me just over a decade to get them all done. We probably better do one then. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just doing a new NW opening, as you might have guessed. And today we are tackling the Series 6 Unrivaled Collection Chris Jericho AW figure. Let's put him a little bit more centralised than that. This is, a, this is the kind of figure that uh, I really like the look of. It applies to quite a lot of AW figures. I really like the look of it when it was previewed, but I knew I wasn't going to buy it. And basically what happened was around my birthday, I didn't have much to ask for. And the entertainer put the AW figures down to £12. So I was like, screw it, get me that Jericho. Because quite frankly, it's nice to have an AW Jericho. And uh, the head scan, I actually think, is really good. Especially for an open mouth scan. Like, how often do I say I like the look of an open mouth scan? Not very often. And Chris Jericho is quite important in you know dsw law and everything and one thing i realized was that in storage i had uh, <laughs> these aw boxes are so easy to ruin I, i've literally ruined it in storage because it was like you know sat in a box like that with another box on top and that's just gotten pushed down so i thought you know what box is damaged we may as well crack him open he was a gift anyway we're not exactly going to get rid of him so let's get him open and uh, you know if we see Le champion style chris jericho as the scientist in the future then that's what happens in the rest of the series we have uh jake hager mgf hikaru shida which we also picked up uh for 10 pounds if you guys remember from a toy hunt a while back and the lucha bros which again i thought they looked really nice in the gold and black but i then got the white and black ones for 10 pounds each so um you know I, I ended up just passing on them. So, let's get this opened. And like I say, we are going to have no regard for keeping the box in any kind of... Uh, we're going to have no regard for the box in this case because it ends up ruined no matter what you do. So, we're going to rip all that open and just rip it off. And get them out there. And nice and simple. These AW boxes, I think they look really nice, but they are... You know, they are terrible if you're wanting to uh, to preserve the box for any reason. Now, first thing with this figure is, this is what, the third AEW figure that I've opened on the NW openings? And we already have a spare AEW title, which will not be used in my Fed anyway. But, if I'm not mistaken, if I consult my mocks, by the looks of it, that one is a lot stronger in colour than my original it's a lot stronger tone and judging by, um, by my own rules when i was a kid uh the goldest belt wins so unlucky there mox of course the joke's on me really with that mox because i spent 20 quid on it desperate to buy it when they came back in stock in the entertainer and then i found loads of them in b&m for a tenner that one time remember all right so let's just carefully get this guy out and then i'm going to talk about why i think this is such a good figure and uh why I, I rate it in the AW line. D. Okay, so the, the bubble, the bubble's a little bit harder to do my usual thing of pushing down around the figure so I don't loosen any joints. Uh, with these AW figures, they don't exactly have the best uh, reputation for loose joints, so I'd rather not uh, force the issue in any way. But um, maybe this is why. Maybe it's the pack. Maybe it's a packaging fault. You have to loosen the joints to get him out. All right, come on, Chris. I really like what Jericho has been doing in AEW. Um, I, you know, he's just... It's that bizarre sense of humour really appeals to me. And it's nice to see him just being free to do whatever he wants. And he's done a lot. He's done a lot to build, like, a new company. So, you know, I think it's all great. And it's nice to have a Jericho figure to represent that. And what we have here on his boot is a little bit of uh, moisture, a little bit of oil or something. Kind of throw back to uh, throw back to IRS NW opening. Can you see that on his knee pad? That kind of uh, maybe that's just shiny. Never mind. 
But yeah, when the I wasn't a massive fan of the original AEW Jericho figures. I thought the heads on those were not great. This is the sort of thing that I would have wanted to see to begin with. You know, I quite like the look of the Jericho um, Amazon exclusive pack with the different outfits. I saw that was recently on sale on American Amazon for $15, I think. Uh, that's pretty cool. It would be nice if that crossed over to UK Amazon because you know what our reduction was on it? It was about £2, so it's still £38. So pass on that. Got a little bit of that oily stuff on his shoulder as well there. So, we've got the title physically stuck to him. Maybe that's why he's so oily. Oh no. There's a little rubber band there. That will just get off. Dangerous there, putting it under the plate. That's not, uh, it's not great, is it? Let's just slide this out. So there we have the AW title. As I say, it's a nice strong gold on that belt. And as I also say, it probably has very little, if any, use in my Fed anywhere. So it's a little bit irrelevant. Although I do have use for it in a sideshow idea. Let's take this little. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to not take this little this little bit of uh, plastic off, but just because you look at that, it's strengthening the uh, the eponymous AW figure joints, but uh, I guess we better, now, now he's just wearing this, he's just wearing this rubber band, looks, uh... come on Chris, let's get that off you, it's weird like handling this figure, I'm just, just feels very sticky and very like oily, from all this weird, Stuff all over him. I'm a bit concerned about the leg joints. They don't seem to be going all that straight. I don't know if that's just a style of boot he has. Because it's kind of kind of like a wide boot. I don't know whether it just looks like he's not... It's not sitting right. But, you know, it, it looks a bit weird. Let's get this plastic off here. So now that I've uncovered it, this body type on Jericho. Which, granted, he's gotten quite a bit of criticism for himself. Which, quite frankly, he's in his 50s and most of those people complaining are probably overweight. Um, this makes me... Like, this is a prime example of why when I first saw the AW figures, I was, I was worried about history repeating itself with the finishing moves figures. And just testing the joints... That's not the stiffest, but it could be worse. So let's talk about why I like this figure. Okay, this expression is good. This looks like Chris Jericho. And in a lot of the renders, he actually looked like he didn't have eyes with this figure, which, to be honest, did put me off for a while. It's open mouth, but it doesn't really look stupid. It looks like the expression he would do. Um, what I've just noticed while I've been unboxing the figure is that the sculpting on the hair... I don't know if it really looks like it on the video, but the sculpting on the hair is incredible. It, it, it looks so good. There's been some effort put into that. It's almost like looking at like a premium doll or something. We've got the tattoo sleeve, obviously, with the fuzzy tattoo on his uh, on his hand there. These are really good, but tattooed figures always make me nervous that they're going to come off in an animation. But at least they've gone to the detail of putting it on the joint, so that's really, really nice. Yeah, so, outside looking in, you know, like I say, I really like the look of this figure. Uh, the little, the little uh, neckerchief there, the little ascot, little bandana, it's nice, isn't it? It's just, it's, just, it's just cute, isn't it? And uh, we've got the Le Champion on there as well. Nice little decals. Uh, the trunks aren't really anything to write home about, but yellow and black is an age-old combo. And like I say, those boots are kind of weirding me out a bit because he, he, he clearly can stand up, but, like, you know, you want all the joints to be properly straight. I don't know if they are. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but... Kinda looks like he's standing a little bit weird, I guess. But yeah, okay, so let's do the joint assessment. Ah, uh, that head is fine. Uh, the shoulder's okay. That's uh, a little, maybe a little bit loose, but you know, it's workable. The elbow is nice and tight, and that wrist is fine as well. The shoulder's fine. We're fine on there, and that elbow is even stiffer. Wrist is good. We already checked this. Eh, could be, could be better, could be worse. The waist, 
doesn't seem to want to go at all. And then legs. My concern is him actually being able to, to stand and pose and stuff, but the joints seem to be more or less fine on there. Boots may be a little bit loose, but how often do you turn that joint anyway? Um, of course, the joints with the AEW figures aren't really the problem when you take them out of the box. It's, uh, it's over time that they apparently quite quickly loosen. Um, I can't spend, say I've spent a lot of time with the AEW range. As I say, I think this is the third one I've ever NW opened. But yeah, so to summarize, as with every NW opening... I love this figure, it's great. Like I say, I wasn't rushing to buy it, but that was more because of uh, myself, my own personal collection. I had just recently bought a Chris Jericho Elite, my favourite Chris Jericho Elite, when this came out. So, you know, I wasn't really in a rush to pick it up. And uh, I think at the end of the day, it's it's pretty nice as a figure, and uh, in different circumstances, I'd have definitely rushed, I'd have definitely rushed to pick this up. Uh, now, what I like to do when I finish an NW opening, as you guys know, is talk about what this guy is going to do in my figure fed. But if you don't know what Chris Jericho does in my figure fed by now, you need to go and watch my figure fed. And that's all that I can really say about that. Chris Jericho is a staple of my figure fed for many years um, in the plans, especially with how long it takes me to actually make anything. So he will be around to stay. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the NW Openings playlist in the end screen and my other content on my channel. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.